Hey everybody, it's Anthony Papillon. I am not a professional writer. In fact, I've never written professionally in my life. I've written poems and stories and technical manuals and that type thing, but I've never really written to be published or to be bought. I'm a tech guy, I'm a, I'm a code slinger, I'm a programmer, whatever, right? But I'm not a professional writer. But I am taking my chance at writing a book. I'm writing a fiction book called Hacker that's going to be released sometimes in either uh, January or February of next year, and I'm hoping you're going to check it out. But a friend of mine and I were talking about uh, licensing creative works. He's a musician, and uh, of course he deals with copyright, and as a writer, I'm going to have to deal with copyright as well. And when I began this project, that was one of the things that I, con I was concerned about. How am I going to get this creative work uh, off of my computer and into the hands of people who want to read it and people who want to support me and people who are interested in the work? And of course, how am I going to deal with people who don't want to pay for it or can't pay for it or want to share it with their friends, that type of thing? And I basically had two options. The first is to pursue a traditional copyright model that makes people criminals who can't afford a book or a piece of creative work and who use it anyway or who want to share it and the second was to treat my readers just like I do in my software as partners as people who want to support me but for whatever reason either can't or whatever and I chose the second route and there are a couple of reasons why I did that I chose the Creative Commons route I'm, I'm releasing the book as a cre under the Creative Commons license and there are three reasons really why I've done that. I've already touched on one at the beginning of the video, but I'll go through them again. The first is, I want to get my book in the hands of as many people as I can. And by reducing, by, by putting it under a restrictive copyright license, I'm effectively cutting my market down. Because I'm saying, unless you have 9, 10, 11, whatever uh, dollars, you can't use my book. You can't read my book. You're, I, don't want your, I don't want your support. And, you know, that's kind of counter counterproductive to my whole goal of getting my book out there, isn't it? The second reason is I don't want the guilt of having someone have to decide to purchase my book or to have bus fare for the next week or whatever. I don't want to have to make anybody decide to allocate money to me or to go without for them or their family. The other reason, I mean, I mean that's the, the, and expanding more on that is I'm really not interested in making people criminals. Why, why would I want to do that, right? I mean, you're my partner. You want to support me. You're, you're obviously going and downloading the book or you're buying the book. Why would I want to make you a criminal by saying, well, just because you don't have the money, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to try to like sue you or I'm going to try to get, I'm going to, I, it just doesn't make sense to me, right? Why would anybody do that? Why would anybody attack the people that are supporting them? And that's, that's really what the current copyright system does. The third reason that I'm releasing it to the Creative Commons license is because it's a protest. Now, my book is probably not going to sell a million copies. I'm lucky if I sell 10,000, 20,000, right? But you can help with that. You can buy the book when it's released. But in my own little way, it's standing up and saying, I will not support a broken copyright system that exploits people. That basically says that people have to choose to put food on their table or to become a criminal to read my book. And I'm, I'm not going to do that. You know, I'm, I'm just not, I'm not that kind of person. I don't believe in creating criminals. And as a writer or as a programmer or as a whatever I might be doing, my job's not to create criminals. And so for those three reasons, particularly the second and third, that I'm not interested in creating criminals and that... I think it's a it's a protest. I'm releasing my book under the Creative Commons license. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means a couple of things. It means that the book will be freely downloadable from my website. You'll be able to download it and share it with your friends, and you'll be able to remix it and use the characters that are in it and stories of your own, that type of thing. But it also means that you'll be able to buy it if you want. You can go to Amazon.com or Barnes and Nobles or uh, any of the any of the other booksellers online, and you can buy a digital copy. Or eventually, I think I'm going to put it on Lulu uh, as a hardcover or as a soft cover. Uh, but you'll be able to buy a physical book as well. 
And so those who want to buy the book, who just want to say thank you or who, you know, who want to contribute to my, my pocket can do that. And those who either can't buy the book or, you know, I'm a new writer. I mean, why would anybody spend money on my stuff right now? Can go and they can try my writing. They can read it. They can share it with their friends. And I'm cool with that as long as my work gets out there. So for those reasons, I'm doing the Creative Commons license. Creative Commons license, I'd like to suggest that if you're doing a creative work, you consider the license as well because you're not only doing, you're not only not making people criminals, but you're standing up for a fair and equal copyright system, one that is not broken and one that, that actually works in the right hold, rights holder's best interest rather than against them because the current copyright system really works against rights holders because it's basically saying you are at war with the people that want to consume your work and I'm not interested in being at war and I don't think you are either so check out creativecommons.org you can find out more about the license and how you can use it there's all sorts of different uh, attributions or, or all sorts of different modifiers that you can use uh, with the Creative Commons license to make it a little bit stricter a little more liberal but check it out, see if it's right for your next creative project, and, you know, have fun. Contribute to the community. It's all about getting your work out there. Why would you restrict people from your work?